evening all. Tonight we're having a celeriac remoulade. Before you start this you cut the celeriac into matchsticks. Now you can either do it with a mandolin if you've got one. I've done it in a food processor and I've used the blade in the processor that's got the biggest sized uh, grater. Now when you do it you grate that, put it in the bowl and you cover it with water and then you put the juice of half a lemon in it. You wouldn't have to do that if you were serving it straight away but we're going to put this in the fridge and have it over for salads and stuff like that over the next two or three days so it's to stop it going brown while you're storing it. So you've got a quarter of the celeriac there, you've got a tablespoon of whole grain mustard. The original recipe for this says Dijon, I can't stand the stuff. Personal taste, it's too sweet for me. I prefer whole grain rather than a full bodied English mustard. Go for the whole grain. You've got half a juice of lemon there. You've got some erythritol there. Hey, how many times have we practiced saying that? There's about a quarter of a teaspoon there. Now this is a replacement sugar for the keto diet. Got some chopped parsley and about five tablespoons of mayonnaise. That's it. Now again, just chuck everything in the bowl. before with the coleslaw don't be a tart get your hands in there okay there you go that's all mixed I've got to be honest I think I've got a little bit too much mayo in there but never mind Lauren and I have taste tested this and it's delicious mm -hmm. now again if you're going to serve this up on the night I'd make it a good half an hour before you're due to eat it it needs to soften so that for me, that's going to go in the fridge now. Like I say, that's going to go with the coleslaw that we made earlier. And uh, that'll keep in the fridge for two to three days. Enjoy. See you later.